Yes, it's me again, the real Jenny Lynn. And today we are going to be doing another Kevin Samuels reaction video. Um, so if this is something you're interested in, just keep watching. I'll help you with today, ma'am. I just want what I deserve. What is it you think you deserve? You know, just someone nice and who just loves me unconditionally. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me let me stop you there. What, what, how old are you? I'm 32. Okay, on a scale from 1 to 10, what do you think you are? Um, I think I'm like a high 7. St stop, stop, stop. Let's be realistic. I am a 7. There's no such thing as a woman over 30 that's a 7. You are a 2 at best, below average at best, and you're 30. Men don't want a two who's in their 30s. You're useless. Okay, but listen. How I, tall are you? 5'11". Okay, Lisa, Leslie, nobody wants a 5'11", two who's over 30. Okay, I What's think, your blood type? Um, B. Nobody wants a 5'11", two who's over 30 with your blood type. You are pathetic, ma'am. Say it with me. Say it. I am... I... Am a pathetic, good for nothing, useless bitch who's good for nothing. What? Oh my God. And that is why, that is why men are better than women because you are incapable of following the simplest tasks. Don't overtalk me. Do not overtalk. Ma'am, ma'am, do not overtalk me. Don't overtalk me. If you keep overtalking me, we're going to be done with this. Do you understand? Y yes. Now, I know it's hard for you as a woman to follow simple instructions, but if you understand, nod your head. Good. Now, make yourself useful and go kill yourself. Next! Thank you, so why am I picking? Because uh, um, I'm in the 32 age bracket. Um, okay. I'm single. Uh -huh. I mean, you got any kids? I have an 11 year old kid. Okay. Yeah. So I guess like right now I'm like into my career. Um, Where'd you go to college? Where? Mm -hmm. Um, a four year a four year college. I have my bachelor's. William What's Patterson. The of, huh? All right. What's the name of the college? William Patterson University. Where'd you get your degree in? Um, social work, but then I went into the business side in the hospital. Um, I was making more money there, and I'm actually going to go for my master's in, in September. I'm a PhD. Okay. So. Okay, so let me just start off by saying she is absolutely beautiful, um, but let's continue with the video. <laughs> okay, so you, so you don't want a man? I'm glad you had your PhD. I, I mean, good is for you. You don't, you don't, you, you don't want to, so you don't want a man? I, I honestly, whatever God has for my No, no, God, God, ain't got, God ain't got nothing to do with us and our natural choices. Um, uh, right now, no, I'm, I'm focused on making a better. Everything isn't for everybody. I feel like we are all individuals for a reason. Um, if a person decides that at that point in their life, they don't want to be attached to someone else, I think that we should all be okay with that. Not everyone wants to be in a relationship. Son. I don't mm -hmm. like and how old is your son? How old is my son? He'll be 11. Uh -huh. So in, ten year, in uh, seven years, he'll be gone. He'll make his own life. Yeah. And you'll only be 40. I, I made him that. I'm trying to make that best life for him. Like, yeah. I in seven years, he's gone. I don't know what's going to happen in seven years. I don't yeah, know. Seven years, he'll be 18 years old. He'll be gone. I, I mean, I didn't leave my parents' house. At, at, at oh, me. so you want a son husband. I'm he sorry. He his own. So he needs to be gone. He needs to go live his own life. See, when I hear women like you come in here talking. So he's saying she wants a son husband just because she wants to provide a better life for him and not like just kick him out of the nest as soon as he becomes 18. He, he, he can't go and live his own life, but I don't know. Time out, time out, time, 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 time out, time out, time out, time out. I hear women like you come in and you're talking, I, I'm going to go this and this, da, 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 and I'm focusing on my career. Great. That sounds real good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then after your son has got his own life and you're 40, then what? I'm going to be a good-looking year old, 40 year old. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? So, I don't know. We'll see when, when I get 40. I'm mm -hmm. not. I'm this, not is, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. 
short-term thinking. They'll tell you about college and careers and all this, but then all that matters is I'm good looking. Um, I didn't hear her say anything about all that matters is that she was good looking. Basically, what she was saying is at 40, when her, if her son decides to leave when he's 18, she still has an opportunity to get a man. So it's not like a rush, rush, rush for her. Good looking to what end? I'm not trying to be funny, man, but you know, but here's a funny thing. It, it, this sounds very, like, it's like you're just talking. It sounds good to talk to a lot of women. All I hear is same BS I hear from most women. Your kid's gonna be your kid's gonna be eighteen in, in seven years. You say I'm trying to make a better life for him. He's not, he's eleven years old. Why didn't you why didn't you and his dad get married? Just curious. I'm sorry. Why didn't you and his father get married? Oh, we we've been over the first a couple. He was my high school, um, high school sweetheart. No. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, do you think it would have been a better life? You said you want to make a good life for your son, right? Yeah. Do you think it would have been a good life for your son if you'd have married and been with his father? I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. You think it would have been a good life for your son if you would have married and been with his father? Um, no. Why? Just we 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 have two different ways of thinking. Like it seems like. He just wants them to set, stay in a situation, whether the man is beating on them, whether the man isn't treating them well, whether the man is cheating on them. I think that he has the mentality that it's better for y'all to still be together with all of that chaos going on and raise the kids together as opposed to you being single and still being able to provide the child with a healthy environment. I say it was a young love. Okay, then why make then why make the baby though? I was twenty one. I was twenty. That can't be the excuse all the time. I mean, that, I mean, that can't be the reason. That can't be the excuse. Okay, well, okay. I'm just telling you, men get men tired of hearing women always talk about you're so young. You're you you're not young. You weren't fourteen. You knew unprotected sex led to kids. So here's the question. Is there ever a point in your life where you envision wanting to have a relationship with a man of any kind of consequence or significance? Right now, no. Is there ever a point in life where you can envision wanting to have a relationship with a man of any consequence or significance? Oh, hell no! At what age do you think that will happen? I wonder why every time um, they're speaking to him, if he asks them a question twice, they always change their answer instead of just saying what they actually feel. Honestly, right now, that's maybe... At what, age do, at what age do you think? Ballpark. Maybe 35. That's four years away, man. See? Stop right here. Stop, 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 stop. Listen. See, you came in talking about college and this and that and career and da da da. And I, whenever guys and so forth, and when, when somebody finally makes you stop and just have an adult conversation based upon the thing, you're talking about maybe about four years. Four years from now, right in the middle of your career. I feel like she didn't answer that how she really feels. I think she answered that with what she thinks he wanted to hear. How are you going to be preparing yourself to have that relationship in four years? <laughs> God? I'm just going to have to look. I'm going to have to uh -huh. look. Right. I'm, women don't... I'm, women don't not planning for it because it's not a priority things that we find that are a priority we plan for them having a man clearly is not a priority to her and that's okay i'm not thinking of a relationship that's the thing that's the problem that's the problem okay. that's the problem you guys don't think about relationships and then till you're too old and then you expect them to that's not the problem i just answer what it is things that we find important we are going to prioritize she doesn't feel like having a boyfriend or being in a relationship is a priority right now in her life so that's why there's no thought about it just happened 
do you plan on making enough money to, to cover two salaries? I'm going to make enough money and for myself and my son, absolutely. Okay, no, ma'am, not your son. Your son will be gone in seven years. I'm trying to be respectful. Keep I, your son out I, of it. He's a, he'll be a ma'am. I'm talking about you for the rest of your life. Yeah. Do you, do you expect to make over $85,000 a year? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 9% of, nine percent of women in this country earn that amount of money. And the agree path you're talking about is not one of them. No, my company pays really good. Um, I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on that because I think the number is way higher of women making that type of money. Uh, social work? No, I'm not in social work at all. I'm not in that. I'm in the business side of my hospital and finance. Okay. And what's your job right, title? I mean, I missed your job title. What's your title? Um, a billing analyst at the hospital. Okay, a billing analyst, mm -hmm. like in the credit department, and the in the insurance department. Okay. Uh. I see my sister. So, so I mean, I'm only asking how you plan on taking care of your. Um, she already knew that he was going to look up how much that type of job pays. So I think that's why she was laughing. Uh, life after your, your son has grown because, because he's not going to be there forever. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be able to take care of my own self. That's the main thing. I don't uh -huh. need. Right. Man. The, average, the average billing analyst for mm -hmm. hospitals make about $56,000 a year on the high side, 68,000. That's not enough money to take and, care of yourself. And when you get promoted as management? Right, yeah, you're already 31. Okay. Well, you gotta get a, You gotta get your degree and get moved up. There's only one job. The average salary, 56 to 68, that's mm -hmm. not enough. That's not enough to have the two point. See, this is what I mean, folks. Women are just, talk no offense man really no offense but y'all just you're so short term in the moment and every time i ask you something serious you divert to your son your son is a human being he's going to have his own life if you don't if you're not prioritizing a relationship you don't think a man's important okay fine then how do you plan on getting to the end of life make thank you i'm so glad that he said that you, he, that's what it is it's, it's not important to her <laughs> roughly $63,000 a year. That's what billing analysts for hospitals make. Oh, that's, that's not where I'm, I'm stopping. That's not where I'm stopping. No one ever plans to stop there, man, but everybody can't be a manager. There's open opportunities for me. Like. See, see, think, guys, this, I, want, I want all the women to understand, my critics, Listen to the logic I'm trying to speak this woman, and all she wants to hear is, I can have whatever I want, I can do whatever I want. No, man, life has consequences and choices. There are limitations. You're 31 years old. The job you want, and you don't even, and if I believe the school you went to, that's not an Ivy League school. That's not a school. What does that have to do with anything that, uh, what, that that's not an Ivy League school? I don't, I didn't understand that comment. Okay, Ann? High rank school. No. It's okay, not. so you got a degree in social yeah. work and you work as a billing analyst. Great. You're doing middle class work. Stop making it sound like this is this great career. It's a job. Yeah, it's a job. Thank you. It's, thank you. You said focusing on my career. It's a job. Yeah. It's not I'm a career. Expanding it. I have to expand it. Ma'am, you can't you can't change a job into a career. It's a job. And what I need folks to understand is this is what's been done to the Western woman and black women in particular to be thinking that they got to do it. I don't think that these women are saying that they don't need a man. I think they're saying they don't want. And that's a big difference. All I hear is fear. Fear, a man bad. I can't say I need a man. If I have to admit I need another salary, if I need to admit that like every other woman in this world or other races, that you need two people in the family, I got to do it standalone. That's why she keeps going back to her son. 
because that's the noble cause. But that boy has a, his own life. He's going to be gone. He don't need to be worried about trying to be your everything at 40 years old because you didn't plan a life. Uh, I'm, I'm happy I'm not desperate for no Of course. Day. See, and think, and, and that's it. And instead of just saying, damn, you're right. It's like, well, I got to keep my pride. I got to keep my face. I don't even think that she was trying to keep any pride or keep it any face. I think she was just being honest. She doesn't feel like, she doesn't seem like she's lonely or desperate or, you know, she's hurting for any male attention. So that's just how she feels. You're foolish is what you are. You're foolish. And that's the problem. You can't make this shit up, people. So that is actually the end of the video. This video made me feel like, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I kind of feel like maybe there was someone that uh, he was interested in that wasn't interested in him or interested in being in a relationship. And that's why he's so against when a woman feels like right now she's not you know looking for all of that relationship type of stuff um guys um a lot of people think that i hate kevin samuels and that is really not the case i actually love the fact that he is opening it up again for men and women to have a very honest dialogue with each other um uh, my channel is all about entertainment hopefully <laughs> So everything won't be just about relationships. Um, I love to travel. I love beauty, fashion, uh, anything that is fabulous. Um, so I am going to be having things for the men as well as the women on my channel. So you guys stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Even people that do not agree with the way that I think about relationships, I still appreciate everyone's comments. Um, and I will see you guys in the next